Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book The Emperor of All Maladies. When someone mention cancer, presumably nobody asks them to introduce the word. Cancer is a term for an aggressive, hard to cure disease. People with cancer face not only a huge financial burden but often also a death sentence. According to data released by the World Health Organization, in 2015, 8.8 million deaths were attributable to cancer globally, and nearly one-sixth of all deaths were caused by cancer. In the United States, one in three women and one in two men will develop cancer in their lifetime. What kind of disease is cancer? Can cancer be completely cured? The emperor of all maladies will help answer these questions. Guiding us through the history of the struggle between humans and cancer, the book reveals the origin of cancer and the development of cancer treatments. At the same time, it paints a colorful picture of humanity, telling us stories of patients, researchers, and activists in their personal battles against cancer. The author of this book Siddhartha Mukherjee is an Indian-American physician, scientist, writer, cancer specialist, and associate professor of Columbia University Medical Center. He wrote this book to answer a question asked by his patient, who was battling a severe abdominal cancer. Her cancer had relapsed and she had to go through another treatment. At some point the patient said, well, I'm willing to go on, but in order to go on I need to know what it is I'm battling. The author took six years to study the historical events, professional literature, media reports, patient interviews, and a host of other materials to answer her question, and ended up writing this book. Next, we'll deconstruct this book for you in three parts. Part 1. What exactly is cancer? Part 2. Cancer treatment and prevention. Part 3. Two important figures in the history of cancer resistance. Let's start with Part 1. What exactly is cancer? In your experience, does it ever occur to you that cancer has suddenly appeared more frequently or even exploded in recent years? You might be surprised to learn cancer did not appear all of sudden, and it has a very long history. A description of cancer has been found from as early as 2500 BC in an ancient Egyptian text, Bulging Tumor of the Breast. Touching them is like touching a ball of wrapping. For treatment, the ancient volume states, there is none. Around 500 BC, Atasa, a 36-year-old Persian queen suffered from stage 3 breast cancer. She wrapped her cancerous breasts with a cloth to hide it, but eventually, in a fit of foresighted anger, asked her slaves to cut off her breasts with a knife. Besides written records, pathologists have found cancer in ancient corpses preserved for thousands of years, the oldest of which is a case of abdominal cancer from Egypt in 400 AD. In 168 AD, the Greek doctor Claudius Galen inferred the cause of the oncological disease. He believed that cancer was a mass formed by the condensation of black bile. Galen believed that even if surgery was done to remove a tumor, black bile would flow back to the original place, so surgical resection of the tumor was not a permanent cure. After Galen's death, his theory of black bile carcinogenesis influenced the medical world for more than a thousand years. So many doctors believed that it was best not to perform surgery to remove a tumor. To some extent, Galen inadvertently did a good deed for later generations, because as medical conditions were primitive at that time, with rusty scalpels and absence of anesthetics and antibiotics, surgery often endangered the patient's life. As you can see, cancer has been around since time immemorial, but there is also little documentation of cancer, mainly because it is an age-related disease. The higher the age of a person, the higher the probability of getting cancer. In ancient times, the average life expectancy of humans was short, and they were also threatened by diseases, such as plague, smallpox, cholera, and tuberculosis, which meant that people often died before they got cancer. And even when they got cancer, it was often accompanied by the onset of various other diseases which obscured the presence of cancer. In the 19th century, the discovery and spread of antibiotics changed the face of 